Good Tuesday morning, scholars. I hope your day has started off well. I'm excited about a great Tuesday here at Dacusville Elementary. Getting ready to start off my morning. Uh, well, probably by the time you see this, um, I will have already had breakfast with about 40 of my favorite friends this morning, folks who were nominated for Distinguished Dolphins during the month of February. I want to say congratulations to all of those students. Thank you to all of our students who are living out those character strengths that we talk about in the Positivity Project and being great role models and examples for all of our students in our student body. So thank you again. Looking forward uh, to continuing to celebrate. We'll do this again uh, probably the beginning of April for those who were nominated in March. So here's just a little reminder for our teachers. Thank you to those teachers who have nominated students. Uh, if you haven't done so, please continue to think about students in your class who are uh, showing or displaying one of those character strengths and nominate them as a distinguished dolphin. So looking forward to that. It's a busy day here. We're going to begin our day. We've got third and fourth graders today who are taking that spring map test. So if you saw the announcements yesterday, uh, you know the explanation. I know you know you've taken this in the fall, the winter, and the spring. And the phrase that I want you to remember is do your best. Uh, that's with everything that you do, not just our test that we take today or a unit test or something like that, but every single day, give 100% effort, do your very best, and you can be proud of your effort, and that's all anyone can ever ask of you is to do your best. <clears throat> um, in our positivity project this week, we are talking about identifying and appreciating the good in others. So why does that matter at all? Well, identifying and appreciating the good in others helps you see the world through more positive and less threatening eyes. If you're constantly seeing the negative side of people, you're going to think the world is made of bad people. This isn't to say that we should see the world and its people through what they call rose-colored glasses, which means, you know, we're not foolish to think that there isn't any negativity or that there aren't folks who are, are maybe making bad choices in the world, but we should not automatically assume the worst in people. So remember, you can demonstrate the other people mindset every single day. And as you go through your day to day, look for opportunities where you can identify and appreciate the good in others. Today is March 21st. We have one student celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to Leland Hembry. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. And as far as I know, we do not have any staff birthdays today. Looking forward this evening, we have a busy night. Please parents help, uh, or students help me remind your parents that at 5.30 this, this evening, we have a volunteer training. So if they'd like to be volunteer trained, please ask them to come. We have a DSO meeting where our parents can come and hear about the great things that our Dolphin Support Organization does for our school. And then I'm super excited about 6.30, uh, we're going to have our kindergarten and first grade music performance. I know they've been working hard. I know Ms. Poole's been working hard with them. I'm excited to be there. There might be, um, I might actually get to participate in it. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope I don't mess things up for them. Uh, but I'm ex super excited to see them perform. I know you put in a lot of hard work. So please invite your parents to come out. Check that out. That's at 630 this evening. So uh, I'm not going to be with you in person the rest of the week because I'm, I'm, Ms. Holder and I are going to be away at a conference uh, learning about how to be better leaders so we can help lead our school even better. But I will present to you and send you morning announcements. Looking forward to that. Um, and I'll miss you guys and I'll see you in person the following Monday. So it's going to be almost a week before I see you guys again. All right. That's it for the morning announcements. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you so much, and let's have a terrific Tuesday.